Listen, I keep him going. If it wasn't for me, he would have retired. <laughs> I don't know how you people are dealing with it, but I'm literally ready to blow my head off. Um, not to mention that I was just telling Christine, I'm fighting a raging sore throat. Um, I can't swallow. Keep the germs um, on the damn You can take that more than one way, but <clears throat> I can't swallow right now. You're and um, yeah, and I have a run to go to in Philly this weekend, and I'm just like, oh man, why do I commit to these things? Blue address, baby. Oh, I can't She's handle it. She's not coming it. to work tomorrow, PC. Yeah, I, you know what? I think I'm going to take my NyQuil and lay in bed tomorrow. But uh, I got through Easter. Thank God. What about you? It was like... Yeah, Easter was just a nice brunch. Breeze. I kind of like brunch. Um, you know, in by 11, out by 3-ish. And yeah. then you Did you go someplace kind of local? My sister-in-law. She lives oh, uh, just nice. kind of south of here. Somebody else, uh, somebody else cooked. Um, yeah, we all Last, kind of last show, we were talking about how I literally... So this is the thing. Um, it's funny because one of the, we have a lot going on today. We have a lot of responses from a lot of people regarding a few posts that we posted on uh, social media. But um, <clears throat> I'm leading to something. One of the posts, um, I, I said, you know, what are you looking for in a girl? And one of the things one of the guys wrote is, I don't want a woman who's like obsessed about you know her weight and blah blah blah. And uh, I just and I just want to point that's going to be hard. To and mind. I just want to point this out. <laughs> you don't stay <clears throat> a size three or a size five over the age of 50 unless you're obsessed about your freaking weight. It just doesn't happen. You have to be obsessed 24-7. Sorry, it's what it is. So did you tell him that? No, oh, not yet, oh, but I'm, okay. I'm, I'm hoping that he's watching, Robert. I'm hoping that he's watching because at the end of the day, it is a struggle on a daily basis. It's like, do I have the pizza? Do I starve myself for three days so I could have two slices of pizza? Or do I eat lettuce for three days and, yeah, yeah. and, and then just, you know, maybe have like a half a piece of... Uh, Cheesecake. I mean, every day, right? Every day. Every day. It, it, it's like you're making I will choices. I'm going to diet the rest of my life. After having lost a lot of weight and always ha had an issue with my weight. And well, I'm you have the health reasons, but uh, I mean. Yeah. I'm the, determined to not, not gain the weight. I not feel sick. Yeah, and, and over the age of 50, you literally have to throw up more than you eat to lose any weight because your metabolism <laughs> is in reverse. That's the bottom line. That's the way it is. I mean, you can candy coat it, sugar coat it any way you want. It's a struggle. Yeah, throw some thyroid disease in there. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Harder. Exactly. And throw a little menopause in there oh, and you really can't lose we're weight. Screwed. So it's not about being skinny, it's not about being unhealthy, it's not about it's not about starving yourself. It's about fitting in your goddamn jeans. That's what it's about. Hey, call in 516-945-9099 and tell us what you think. Yeah, tell us what your daily struggle is. But at the end of the day, it's bikini season coming, and so yeah, you know, well, if you want to ruin your week. Try on a bathing suit after Easter dinner. Uh, yeah, well, uh, my bikini days are over, but um, uh, bathing suit time is, is scary enough. Yeah, bikini it's scary. Or not. It's like it's like you just have to, uh, you know, you have to get ready for it. So you you have to dim the lights. You have to pour yourself a glass of wine. Get in front of a mirror without any fluorescent lighting and try on your bathing suit. I tried on that suit. It was really cute. And it did fit. The only problem was it was so short, short. like yeah. I couldn't do it. But I have to give it back to you. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so we're getting ready for bikini season. Um... Which brings me to a question because I was thinking about this with all of the uh, posts that we were doing about what other people are looking for in other people. When you get dressed, mm -hmm. do you dress for yourself? Do you dress for a man? Do you dress for to look good, for what you think other women will like? I mean, who do you dress for? I absolutely 100% can tell you that I dress for me. Only for you. Yeah. Because I love fashion, I love clothes. 
And I have never ever in my life been a mom jean, stretch pants, sneaker girl. Um, I've always been one. She just described me. <laughs> Sneakers. Oh yeah, you're such a mom Stretch jean. pants. Yeah, well you have a cold today. I have but, a cold, um, I was not in the mood. an awesome wardrobe. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, look good, feel good has always been mentality, no matter, my mentality, no matter what I've weighed, no matter where I was going. Um, and it almost became a joke with people. It, it, and, and I'm not talking, I'm wearing, you know, fancy, fancy every day. Jeans, boots, yeah, a sweater, and a blazer. I mean, it's really not fancy. But I think a lot of women, especially young moms, get into this rut of sweats and yeah, yeah, yeah. whatnot. And do you I take, never did that. Do you um, take a compliment from a man, a, a man more? Like, so you walk into the house, your husband goes, oh, you look really pretty today. You go to work and three of the girls you work with go, I love that fucking outfit. It feels great. So which compliment do you like more or are they oh, equal? I think it's equal. It I, is? I actually got, and I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of been a long time since this has happened, but I got my coffee before I came, as I do before every show, uh, in 7-Eleven. And um, I, I think maybe he, a, a guy in there was trying to pick me up because he complimented me on my outfit, starting with my crazy uh, oh, we have animal to ask, print boots. We have to ask Bobby that. So, so when a guy compliments you, does that mean he wants to pick you up or he's just trying to be nice? I don't know. We have, I don't to, we know. have to ask I, a single went, guy that. He kind of went on a little bit, so I'm so out of loop. I've been with my husband since I'm 16 years old, so I am, first of all, not pick upable. Yes, um, you are. But you're not pick-upable. No, I'm not pick-upable in my married, mind. Because you're married. Exactly. And um, uh, he wasn't my type, even if I was pick-upable. Yeah. But uh, I wasn't sure. Was he being nice <clears throat> or was he... See, I know, where that's am I a, go? That's a tough gig because I have like a couple of uh, guys in my life that too, like you, you don't know how to take it. Is it flirty? Is it uh, yeah, just being sure. sweet? But you don't take it flirty when it's from another woman. You don't think no. that they are coming on to you. No. So maybe it's just they're just trying to be who, nice. Who knows? I don't know. I Listen, don't know. I'll take it. Any way I can get it. I'll take it. The compliment. Um, Everybody likes a compliment. Everybody likes to be told they look good, did something good. Yeah. Um, I love when my son tells me, Ma, you look tired. I'm like, thanks. 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 Yeah. Yeah, Hence the bad lighting in this place. My God. Ma, <laughs> you look really... Uh, I'm looking at us in the in the monitor here. We look tan today. We look tan. Uh, Thank you. It. Thanks, Bobby. I will take looking like an oompa loompa <laughs> over <laughs> looking like I'm dying any day. And like the lighting in here is a brutal. If I tell well, you, if brutal. We can't get the soft focus. I'll, t I'll take this kind of tan look. Yeah. Well, listen, we have a lot to talk about, and um, what's really driving the show tonight, what you, what really made me think of like talking about the things we're going to be talking about is I just heard that uh, Channing uh, Tatum oh, and, um, and Jenna Dewan broke up, and yeah, I'm thinking to myself, the these first of all, he's hot, she's hotter, they both have awesome bodies, the sex has to be amazing. How can and they have money? I know. I think they have a couple of kids, but. How, why, how can they can't make it work? Well, I, I don't get it. I mean, so many relationships in Hollywood just don't work. Hey, these I are mean, young, hot people. Well, you know, I don't know. I, I, I often wonder, um, as I just said, my husband and I are together since I'm 16 years old. That's about 38 years. That's a long time. <laughs> it is a long time. And I, I actually heard someone I, I know um, be, right before they got married, and this was a long time ago. They got married shortly after we did. And she said, well, if it doesn't work, we'll get divorced. Can't stand I that. I never thought of that. Yeah, um, no, you it never went into it. You I never went into, into it thinking that. That that's way. my point. And so that's my question. Do people go into it and say, well, if it doesn't work, I'll get divorced? I think so. Um, I think we, we had this whole thing about, um, what's her name? Uh, what, Kylie Jenner with, having a baby with this right. guy. She's 19 years old, 20 years old. I mean, you can't think this thing is going to last for more than three years. It's right. just not going to happen. Right. Right. So we're, we're going to come back. We have a lot to talk about. Um, but before we uh, take our first break, um, we want to go to Christine's Corner and see what she's got going on. Because I see some really pretty stuff, as usual. Um, my little arts and crafty friend here. I don't know how she does it. I honestly don't know. It is I time for my bowl of water. I don't know we have a little assistant this. coming on. This is Peter Cohen, always here to help us out. I, um, what is this all about? It's a little now? cold. We're going to hope this works. Um, Anyway, if you watched last week's show, <clears throat> you know that it, I did some cool things uh, with the to Easter decorate eggs. Easter eggs. And and one of those techniques was using nail polish. Oh, so I'd gone to the gonna... dollar store and I bought all these cheap, brightly colored nail polishes I'm that up. I will never use. So I needed to find something to do with, with all this nail what polish. What a great idea. This is 
so much fun. I love this. A bowl of water uh, that is just truly room temperature, not too hot, not too cold. Wow. Because then the nail polish kind of dries awesome. automatically. Gotcha. This might be cool. You want a toothpick and you want to get everything ready because you have to work yep, fast. Work fast. A plain white mug. Where did I get these? My favorite store, as most of store. you know. Exactly. I don't know. The dollar store should be sponsoring us because we give them so many shout outs. We really do. I love the dollar store. I bet my average sale in there is probably about $18. Every and time how I often go. do you go in there? Eh, a couple of times a week. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so some brightly colored nail polish from the dollar store. Oh my God. Well, that's. Yeah, smart. hold that because I that don't want to like get OPI, nail polish. actually, but it's not. It does, but it's not. I don't I know. I can't what tell if it's OPI. I have no glasses on, so. All right, that's go not ahead. Happening. Let's do this thing. Okay, so you want to be really ready because it goes quick. Your nail polish and a toothpick in one hand and your white mug. And you're going to put a couple of drops on top if it'll come out. Kind of swizzle it. Oh, I think it's going to work. Oh, that's okay. pretty. Okay. Take I got, I'm going to do this. I'm definitely going to do swirl this. Swirl it around with the toothpick and, and throw it in. Drop your mug in. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, my goodness. Wait, oh, Can you that see is this? awesome. It is fantastic. I, I love absolutely it. absolutely love this. I'm going to put these mugs on my new little boat this season and right. have my morning coffee. So this is the thing, the you sun. guys You guys have to go on our page on Facebook so that you could see exactly what yeah. she did. And I, I'm gonna tell you right now, out of all the things Christine's do done more. on the show, um, oh, wait, all the gotta... projects that she's done, I swear to you, there hasn't been one that's been a fail. I mean, your zucchini that you, you oh, know, that yeah, you made. Yeah, I haven't cooked in a while. We gotta cook next week. I'm, yeah. I'll make something next week. Yeah, but make a drink, please. You want make a, cocktail. a cocktail? Okay, I will make a cocktail. So, so this is absolutely amazing. Okay, um, just one little thing. It does leave a film on top of the water, so I'm kind so of clearing that off, off before I go to the next one. I'm gonna do one more just because it's here and I wanna do the same You know, color. while you're talking about this, when we were talking about the diet, I did wanna mention, because we were gonna go into it, how we were both being really bad, and I had from, from the, all the traveling and the holidays, I was totally bad with my diet, and I ended up canceling all my plans for like two weeks, and lo and behold, I lost the lousy three pounds that I gained. And so you were saying you were bad too, now you're gonna be yeah, good. Yeah, I feel like I've been slipping a little bit. Um, and, and that just, keeps up your I autoimmune. Mean, exactly, and that, that's what I'm a little concerned about because, uh, you know, just little things, I'm still being good because I'm determined to not gain the weight back that I lost, and I'm determined to, to stay feeling good. And, well, that's what and it's all about. Keeping my energy up. Um, so listen, guys. I just want to thing. Yeah, I, I think I'm feeling some aches and pains since I've been you putting got, a little sugar in my coffee or having a fork full of my kids' it, pasta. It adds up. Yeah. It adds up. But, I remember so, when the kids um, were little. It was a yeah. fry here. It was a piece of a taco exactly. there. Before you knew it, you were blown up like a balloon. Exactly. So, so listen, guys. This is the thing. We are on Facebook Live, and that's all well and good. But at the end of the day, we're really in a stu we're really in a studio, and we're really a radio show. So if you download the TuneIn Radio app on your smartphone and sh uh, search for Strong Island Radio, you could find us there. Um, our shows are always there. You can find old shows and the current show that we're airing. You could also go to Facebook, um, The Living Room Radio Show, and you can um, search on our page and you can see either live or a prior show. So see us other places because if you miss us here, you can literally drive and listen to us on your phone. So we will be right back. And if you want to call in for anything, just to say hi because you're listening, the number is 516-945-9099. That's 516-945-9019. No, 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 I need a glass of wine. 516-945-9099. We'll be right back. I'm getting a buzz from that, uh, um, from the nail, the nail polish. polish. We will be right back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Roger. And I'm Steve. And, and we, we own, own this, this house, house together. together. Zap My Tax was so successful with our tax grievance. We saved over $1,700 in our first year alone. And now we're signing up again. In fact, we are so happy with Zap My Tax, we decided to save even more money and use Zap My Insurance as well. Zap My Tax and Zap My Insurance. Two great choices and two great ways to save money. And we've got. So Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. back. So it's like a minute and that it's so was quick. A really quick um, so, so after I, um, after I heard that 
Channing uh, Tatum and uh, Janet Dewan were breaking. I, I literally was so upset. First of all, I love her. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I felt that way about Brad and Jennifer. Oh, you did? Up. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something about them. They're going to get back together because at the end of the day, I he, you know what? He's, I used to love him, but when he left her, exactly. for Angela, I was just like, what exactly. are you doing? Why do we get so invested in celebrities? I, because I love them. Are you still, I you, has anybody seen Legends of the Fall? I mean, oh my God. You've never seen see Legends of the Fall? You have to see it. Okay. Well, you won't like Brad Pitt anymore, but he was really hot in it. Oh, he's um, definitely hot. <laughs> oh, he was really hot. His name was Tristan. He was really, really, really hot. I wanted to name Krista for that. Dennis was having oh, really? me out of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a funny name. But, you know, at the end of the day, what I always say to you, like, there's no stress. I'm sure there's stress. You travel, like, these celebrities, they're apart. But really, there's no, I mean, you don't have to cook. You don't have to clean. You don't have to really take care of your kids 24-7. You're on location. I don't get it. Right. Like what's uh, what's I don't the know. struggle? Maybe that's the problem. I don't so know. so and and you would like to think that they're semi smart and they know what they're looking for in a person, but maybe they don't. Maybe they're just maybe they don't. you know just stupid too, just going in for the hot stuff. Are you excited about the royal wedding? Oh what with Prince Harry? Harry? I happen to love Harry. I love him. I am so. I, I absolutely love them. I think love she them. is adorable. I think it's so historic. How did they meet? I don't know. She, I mean, it's just historic as yeah. far as you know the monarchy goes. Yeah. She's American. Yeah. I mean, uh, King and Edward gave up the throne for it. She is divorced. She is um, part African American. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just historic. He's his monarchy. mother's son. Yes. He's his mother's yes. son. I mean, it, I just think it's really exciting. It's May 19th, which was my parents' anniversary. Oh, wow. Oh, they get married this May. May wow, 19th. they came up yes. quick. Yes. Wow. Yes. I wonder how they met. And I wonder if, like, he went through somebody to kind of, like, say what he wanted in a woman. Or if he just, it know, was just a chance really meeting. Yeah. And so, so Kate and William, too. They're yeah, just adorable. Yeah. I love their parenting. Yeah, I love they're their always, kids. They always bend down and make eye contact with their kids. It's, it's On the it's three really photos sweet. that you see in People magazine, they're bending down and just... <laughs> All right, they're probably slapping the shit out of those kids in private. No, I'm only kidding. They're really not. Um, so anyway, so I went on, um, I, went a, I asked a few friends, um, and we're going to have a, a couple of people maybe come talk to us now, a couple of men, asking them what are they looking for in a woman. <clears throat> and the original dial a date kind of fell apart because the person that was supposed, I, I thought this was really, actually, I respect this guy for doing this. I had a dial a date planned. And um, he was going to come on, and he, I wanted to fix him up with somebody. But then I said, you know what? Come on the show. We'll do a dial a date. We'll have people call in, and we'll see if maybe the girl that I was trying to fix you up with maybe isn't the best choice. Maybe there's other choices. So he was all into it. <clears throat> so what happened was, 29 years old, handsome, smart, articulate. He, he texted me, and he said, his, the girl that he had been seeing on and off, and now she's away at school, um came home and he felt that because he had just seen her, it wouldn't be a great idea to do a dial a date. He couldn't manufacture right. a feeling for another girl All right. because he had just seen it. But what I what I thought was um what I thought was like really I don't want to say smart, but what I respected about this guy was we were talking about going out with people and I said, Well, <clears throat> why aren't you with her now? And he said, because I can't ask of her all the things I want for her. And I'm paraphrasing here, so it's not going to be the way he said it, but he said it very articulate. Um, I can't ask of her all the things that I want because I can't be all the things that I want to be. I'm not the end result of who I want to present to the person that I want to be with. He's very only 29 smart. years old, and I just very want to point out when I was 29, I, I just got married. And I was an idiot. Okay, no, I love my husband, but I could never even formulate that because my relationship went, bam, he's beautiful, I, sexy, I instantly fell in love with him, and it wasn't any, there was no thought process, like I wasn't buying a racehorse, you know what I mean? Like some people think about it like that. They want to know the, the lineage and the, the teeth and all the other things. I didn't think about it like that, you know? Don't you want me to think about it that way? <laughs> so anyway, I really thought that that was... Um, really mature of him to say that at 29 years old. So he, he basically said, I can't, I can't deliver to her the end result of who I want to be when, when I'm going to be asking somebody else to be what I want them to be. Well, I think he is probably <clears throat> more the exception than the rule. Do you think that? I, yeah, I do, because I don't think a lot of young people think that far ahead. And, That's what and I'm saying, also, right? I think there's a lot of pressure... Maybe it's less now, I don't know, but I, uh, certainly our age group, I think there was a lot of pressure that 
You need to get married. Yeah. You need to have These kids children. don't need to get married, which is a good thing. Right. Which is a good thing. Um, it, uh, I kind of felt like, and I, but I'm not sorry at all. I have a very happy marriage. Um, you have to disclose I, that before every show. We are happily married. We, you know, <laughs> hi, babe. I, I love you. I, I, I think though that I felt it was what I was supposed to do. That's and the thing. I got married at 21 years old. Yeah, you got married young, man. Um, I don't know how and you I did think, that. you know, the only thing I would do different would be maybe to wait a little longer if I were to do it over and maybe to live on my own for a while and yeah. rent a place with some girlfriends, travel a little more. I think these young people have um, so many other options and they are thinking it through. Also, I think that, um, I, I hope my kids don't marry before the age of 30, 31 anyway because I truly believe we're living longer and I don't even mean this funny or sarcastic. I just feel like we're living so much longer that you get married at 25 now, the chances of you being 75 together is a little bit less, I think. Mm -hmm. um, also the mindset, I think. And back when, I mean, women didn't really make their own money back in. Right. Our, I make my own money. I've had made, made my own money for a long time. Um, I didn't marry for money. I didn't marry for financial security. Yeah, I, I didn't. Either. I didn't. I married because I wanted to be in love and I wanted to be married. Exactly. I wanted to have a family. Exactly. Wasn't, it had nothing to do with money at all. I didn't even think about money. He could have been broke for all I knew. Right. It was gorgeous, so you know you could either be, yes. what do they say, uh, ugly and rich or gorgeous and and, right. and you know the whole right. bit. But well, fu funny story about my grandmother, um, my grandmother Rachel, my mom's mother. Um, I met a friend for lunch a while back at uh, the Walt Whitman Mall in Huntington, and she was running behind. So I went into Bloomingdale's and walked in by the shoe and handbag department, and within about seven minutes, I had had my hands on about. Thirty thousand dollars worth of merchandise. <laughs> the first pair of boots I, I touched. Was Sounds like a typical afternoon on Long Island. And I hightailed it out of there very quickly. And I heard my grandmother up here going, "You could have married a rich man." Yeah, but that is yeah, boopy boop. <laughs> so, so listen, so so many women are out there looking for money, but there's a lot of women out there that are not looking for money. There are women out there making their own money and they just really want to have a good companion exactly. and a friend, right? Exactly. So this particular particular guy, um, I asked him, I said, well, what are you looking for in a woman? Because originally, you know me, like, I don't know if anybody knows my history, but I've set a few people up and um, a few people have gotten married. So, Ooh, um, so I love to set people up. It's just in my genes. Um, but anyway, so he was saying that um, he wanted somebody who was family oriented, cultured, articulate, confident, physically attractive, adventurous, mature, refined sense of humor, comfortable in their own skin, isn't overly obsessive about exercising and eating healthy. That's why I was laughing. I'm right. like, please, right. if she's not obsessive, she, she's going to be a whale well, by the time she's 50. I, I, I have to point <clears throat> out something over here, though. He's got the physically attractive kind of down in the middle. Yeah. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm wrong, and I think people don't want to say that that's what they go for, but that is the first thing. Yeah, but everybody's see, physically to attracted, to, attracted somebody to somebody else. else because there's going to be somebody that's physically attracted to a blonde hair, right. uh, blue oh, eye. Oh, you mean a type? Well, yeah, no, okay. what's, what's physically attractive? Well, I suppose everybody has a different Everybody has their own of sense of what's physically I never thought I was... Like we had this discussion. I never thought I was had a hump on my back and should be ringing a bell in Notre Dame, but I I never thought I was a beauty queen ever. And I well, to this I don't day, either. No, no, but but my husband thinks I'm hot. Right. Well, yes, my husband. Yes. It's, it's so to him, I'm so yeah. to him, I'm physically attractive. Whereas another guy would be like, ah, eh, she's all right. Ah, yeah. eh, she's a whale. Ah, eh, she's you know, she's a barker. So everybody has their own, well, that's right? Very true. I mean, I was 16 when I met my husband, and of course, the first thing I thought was, "Oh my gosh, he is so very cute." Exactly. Look at him. I think I have. A, I gave a picture to Bobby. Can we put that up, Bobby? Yeah. But you know, everybody thinks has their own their own sense of what physically attractive is. You know, there oh, he, he was a cutie. Look at him. He was about 19 years old. There. He was a cutie. Oh, I going. wish I had a picture of my Tom cutie Tom. He was. Tommy, text me a picture. So yeah, that was the first thing, and then I found out he was a really nice guy. So I'm a very. But you know girl. what? Some somebody else might have seen him and said, "Oh, I don't like blonde hair." You know, well, so everybody crazy. has like a type. Um, but anyway, so his his I thought he he was very mature about what he was asking for. Um, cursing was a turn off, mm -hmm. which I thought was I would um, agree with that. an immature sense of humor was a turn off, which. God, he could never date me. Um, and then I said, well, tell me some de deal breakers. Um, being disrespectful is a deal breaker. Cannot date someone who isn't honest. Well, that's, everybody wants honesty, right? Um, you know, so I, I, I thought he was pretty mature about it. Um, and then I asked my nephew, who happens to be gay, and I got to tell you, the gays know what they want, okay? Because he's got it down pat. Keith, I love you. Attractive. 
He's got to be able to catch my eye. He's got to be ambitious. He's got to, he, he can't be a party queen. K-W-E-E-N. I love you, Keith. He's got to have a sense of humor. He has to read the same books as me. Does he have a bigger library than I do? I love you, Keith. Um, a little bit more gay specific. <laughs> he, he, Keith, you crack me up. He gave me a whole thing. But, you know, he, he also said, have I slept with his friends? Has he slept with my friends? So is that like something that you think about? Like, would you not date someone who dated somebody that you dated? Well, I don't know. Well, you I, have I to put yourself know. in the position. Like, like so, for, just for instance, I mean, let's just play. Let's just play. If you, if you got a divorce, would you date your friend's husband if they got a divorce? It's, this is very hard for me to put myself in the shoes, to be very honest, and you're going to look at me like I'm crazy, because I know you well enough at this point. If for whatever reason I was not married anymore and that I you become not intend to happen, um, I think I'd be done. Stop it. No, I really think I'd be done. Stop it. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah, no, I do. I, I kind of know it. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I, I that's a, Well, that's the other segment because we'll talk about that. But then how would, how would you, then what would you do? Have hookups? No, no. I have to worry about myself and my children. And, and that's it? Yeah. Oh, I God. I'd be with, really okay with that. No, not me. Not me. Um, he did say um, sus substance abuse was, was a deal breaker. Um, biggest deal breaker would be how, how men argue. If he walks away and can't have a discussion. I thought that was pretty good. He said he needs to be a, a mature uh, arguer. Um, I like that. A mature arguer. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, he's, you know, he said he, he wants somebody who's mature. And he, my nephew's not even 30, so he's got his head on straight. He knows what he's sure. looking for. Um, then I also, um, I also asked a very good friend of mine what he was looking for, and his things were, um, do I have his things? I hope I have his things. Yes. Very simple. Clean, fit, smart, or at least not dumb, has her own life, friends, interests, doesn't overdo makeup, likes outdoors and outdoor activities, big smile, laughs, likes music. Um, you know, simple. Simple. Yeah. Yeah. Just and you know what I learned about this? We did this poll. Well, we didn't do a poll, but we put this out there on social media. Most guys like women that don't wear a lot of makeup. They like their women not wearing a lot of makeup. That I found out. I, like, I have heard that often from men. Yeah, yeah. so they, they like women that are more comfortable in their own skin and aren't the ones that have to get dressed up and look like queens every night. Right. Um, which I'm glad my husband likes that because I'm very happy in my workout bra and my my little workout pants. I you know I like to get dressed up, but the fact of the matter is I, I prefer just to be myself. Um, I also think after you get, like, you work all week, you don't want to get dressed up every yeah, day. Yeah, well, I mean, at home, uh, you know, yeah. but I, men, I am wearing sweats and But and men like natural beauty. Cotton. cotton. Yeah, cotton. When I used to work full time, uh -huh. I would walk in the house thinking, I need to put cotton on. And you need to know, well, I am so much happier when I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, men really want simple women. And I look at the young girls. Real women. Yeah, and I look at the young girls that are out there today, and they're... And don't get me wrong, because I think they're beautiful. My my sons have a lot of girlfriends, especially my younger son, and every single one of them is more beautiful than the next. I mean, they all look like models. They all have the hair. They all have the bodies. They all have the look, the yeah, the whole thing. And guys don't really care about that. They just want the natural, right. no makeup, little hair, whatever. Right. I don't know about long hair, short hair. But so, girls, if you're out there and you're single. This was what was coming at me today. Guys are not looking for a big hoopla type of thing. Um, you wanted to, you wanted to say something before we uh, well, went no, to just, the next just topic. Quick funny story you made me think of. Um, I, at my Christopher is twenty nine years old and he went to a, a wonderful private college in Florida, Rollins College. Beautiful, beautiful place, full of beautiful, beautiful young people. And you know the few, the times that I was there, I'd meet some of these lovely young girls. And then we'd be on the phone, and he would mention, oh, you know my friend Amber, or you know my friend Chloe. And, and I would every time say to him, oh, yeah, long, straight blonde hair, flat stomach, really pretty. He'd go, yeah, that's her. Yeah, that's them. They're all gorgeous. They I mean, gorgeous. but the, And, that, you know, that's a whole other topic. I was but never that pretty. Never. These women, they have so, listen, when we were younger, what did we have? We had blue eyeliner or black eyeliner. <laughs> we had, right? We, 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 we had, had the, there was one hair. jean that you were wearing and it was either high-waisted or, yeah, it was either high-waisted, there was capizios. We had six <laughs> outfits over the course of like, 
you know, our seven or eight year span of dating, right? If you think about it, right. how many style changes did you go through? You were a hippie, you were 80s, right? right? And what else? These girls then got I had a different. Spin up on my shoulder. Oh my, exactly. These girls have a different style every six months. Yes, you're right. So they're always they're different. always morphing with the makeup. They're always morphing with the hair. They got extensions. They got false eyelashes. They got chicken cutlets to put in their boobs. Mm -hmm. They got pads for the butts. I mean, what don't they have? Plus, they have Botox. They have filler. I mean, young girls are getting all this stuff done. Jesus Christ, I want to go back and relive my life. We're in trouble. <laughs> I mean, it's just so unfair. It's just so unfair. It's a different world. I have to take a break so I can cry now. We'll be, be back. right back. We all know how important it is to shop local. Christine and I are here right now to talk to you about Long Island Loyalty. Long Island Loyalty is a company created for people and businesses to shop local and support each other. When you go into a store that's participating in the Long Island Loyalty program, you will get 10% back on your card from any purchase that you make. Um, Christine was showing me today the app. All you have to do is download the app, longislandloyalty.com, and when you go into a participating vendor, they will scan your app and put 10% back on your card. Right now, Christine's got a balance about $45. I'm saving to get my hair done because there's a salon that I go to on here. It's really important to shop local, www.longislandloyalty.com. Download the app, find them on Facebook, find their website, support local businesses. Thank you so much, longislandloyalty.com. Okay. Hi, we're back. Hi, we're back in the living room. Uh, we want to thank Long Island Loyalty um, for being a part of the show. Thank you so much, Dawn Kostakis. I hope you're having a great time on vacation. Uh, wish you were here on the couch with us. Again, if you want to call in, the number is 516-945-9099. We would love to hear from you. Um, I know that uh, Bobby's there in the back ready to pick up the phone if you call. And again, find us on um, Facebook so that you can listen to our last couple of shows. Um, sinking into the couch. I know, we're sinking, we're sinking, we're sinking. Um, so we did a couple of posts this week just to kind of get feedback from the women in our lives, and men, but mostly women comment, I hate to say it, but um, we wanted to know, and a few men, a few men, um, the uh, secrets to a happy marriage, right? Because we're talking about being single and, uh, and what men are looking for in women. Um, I didn't really get um, a huge response from what women were looking for um, in men. Um, because women aren't looking for anything in men. They're actually using men. That's what I found out today. That's what you think? I, really? No, well, that makes that, me sad. Well, what I found out is that women are feeling so empowered. This is what I got from the gist of it. Women are feeling so empowered because they make their own money and they're living their own lives that unless a man is going to be completely and 150% loyal to them and they have to prove it, that... I don't want to say men are disposable, but they're not feeling like we felt. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to speak for you, but when I was looking for a husband, I wanted to, you know, find a husband. These girls are not looking for husbands. They're just looking for a, a great boyfriend, and they're not committing to giving up their careers and, and raising children. Well, they're equal to the men. Wait, 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 well, when you, I think when you met okay. Tommy, you were looking for a husband? Uh, or you were just walking about the world? No, I was ready to get married. I wasn't dying to get married, but I wanted to get married. I wasn't I wasn't going to date somebody. So this is the thing. When I was younger, I was not dating anybody just to date. I was dating in the hopes of meeting my life partner. Well, I think, I think the girls are different today. today. I think you're, from what you just said, apparently so. And I, I, At first I said it made me sad, but as you continue to explain the statement, um, maybe not so sad. I think it is really important that women have their own money that they figure out who they are before they become a we. You have yeah. to know I before, before you're, you're a we. I agree and with I that. And I think that that's really, really important. And, and I got married so young, and I became a, a mother a, a year later. And um, I didn't know really who the real me was at well, first because from what I was a mother, I was a wife, I was a daughter. And where was I? But the thing is this, is like, when I went out, out on a date when I was younger, if, the, if two dates didn't go well, 
it was done, it was done because it was like okay he's not marriage material okay what these girls the gist that I'm getting is is they'll play around for a little while because they're not necessarily looking to get married so if the guy is is okay. up for a good time and he's no harm no foul meaning he's not you know he doesn't he's not passing a deal breaker everybody has their their deal breakers mm -hmm. whether it's drug use you're a smoker you're you know overweight whatever these girls are saying, look, I could play around with a smoker for six months because I'm not going to marry the guy. Right. So that was not how I dated. I don't know about you. That's not yeah. how I dated. You didn't date a long time. No. I, uh, so it's, it's I got married. Way, I met my husband. I understand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I guess maybe now, like, you know, if I were, God forbid, to get a divorce, I think that's probably what my mindset would be. It would be like, well, listen, I don't need to get married. I don't need to have kids. Right. So I could, I could probably play with somebody who's a little bit crazy because I'm not necessarily looking to get married. Oh. So that's what these young girls are doing. All right. On the flip side of it, there's many of us who have been married a long time and um, we're pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. So I wanted to know what makes um, what makes everybody else. So I know what makes me happy, but I wanted to know what makes everybody else happy. So I got a lot of comments back, a lot, from people that are married 48 years, 50 years, 35 years. Uh, I got a lot of comments, and I, I couldn't print out everybody's responses, so I kind of like just chalked it up to, uh, you know, how many people said this, how many people said that. Um, laughing came at the top. They wanted somebody they could laugh with, somebody they could have fun with. Um, communication was right there, too. They wanted somebody that they could c communicate with, that they could have a conversation with, that they were both on the same page about um, certain things, and if they had uh, a disagreement, they could agree to disagree. People don't like to argue. Pick your battles. A lot of the women said, I just pick my battles. If it's, if it's not worth it, I'm going to let it go because it doesn't have to be a fight. Um, big, big focus on being friends with their partner. And, um, you know, being friends is, I think, key. You have it, to like the you person. Have to like you have the to person. like to be with them. You have to want to hang out with them. Exactly. Um, you have to, a, a compromise came up. Um, shared interests, again, being your friend. Um, and then there were a couple of cute, cute ones. Um, Megan from Merrick, uh, Mama's Group said the secret to uh, her happy marriage was having a secret address for her Amazon purchases. Which I, was <laughs> really I cute. love that. I was like, you know what? I, I get my that. stuff shipped to the office too. That I get my wine club so deliveries funny. shipped to the office. Yeah, well, um, now Tommy knows. <laughs> yeah, now he knows. Um, and then a lot of them said wine, wine lots of wine. Lots of wine. Yeah, there were some really funny ones. They um, were, these women were all over, right? Know, the respect, I think, is really big. And, and I think that's one of the things uh, Dennis and I have been very successful with in that um, it was always okay to do what we wanted individually. Yeah, um, you're okay I to have a life. I never, ever wanted to be one of those wives who said, I'm not going golfing on yeah, Saturday. Besides, do you really want your husband Why? attached to you by the hip? No, I don't. No, no. And don't. Then, then if I wanted to go to Montauk with the girls for the weekend, he'd say, have a great time, baby. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, I, I, you know, respect what the other wants. Allow them to be... Have their live and you have yours. Do you want to read some of yours? Sure. Can you read? Sure. Yeah. So we had a lot. I want to point out though that um, I was I was a little bit. Um, what is this? Oh, Josephine from Merrick Moms Group said she's married 18 years and she never had a fight. Now I don't know if that was joking or not, but I'm thinking to myself, I don't know about that. 18 years and you never had a fight. I gotta tell you, Dennis and I really don't fight. Oh we, God, we stop! Disagree. Really? We certainly have differences. Of you never had a brawl. Never. Oh my God! No I think never. Tommy punched a hole in the wall. Oh, no, never, never. I Babe, even... I love our fights because you know what? I love the makeup sex. I can't um, even imagine that kind of a fight with him. Really? Yeah. Oh, to when Tommy and I first started though. dating, we had some issues. First of all, I want to give a shout out to my husband because I am not easy to wrangle to the floor. Like I am a wild fire. You're I mean, a wiry little. Everybody, everybody knows I'm a little wild, so. <laughs> I, it's it's not easy dealing with me and managing me, and I get it, and I appreciate it, babe. I totally appreciate it. <laughs> um, oh God, Barry from Merrick is a girl. Her name it was a woman. I don't know what it meant. Be uh, she said her mother taught her one thing. Listen, I try not to curse on the show because I know that it's not something I should be doing. Number one, my children sometimes listen to it, and my husband doesn't appreciate when I curse. But I have to say it the way she said it. She said her mother taught her. Um, when she was getting engaged, her mother said, listen, if you want to have, have a happy marriage, you got to do two things. You got to feed them and fuck them. And I thought that was kind of cute. Her mother told her that. I, her mother told her I that? need to meet That's your mother. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, also, there was a couple more. Um, everybody said, a lot of people said, you need to have a date night. And I think that's key, if, especially if you have children. Because what ends up happening is, 
you you get sucked up into your life, into your world, and you don't make time for each other. And and then before you know it, you're you're just sitting around with your hands down your pants watching TV, and that's no fun. <laughs> and I mean it like with the guys doing it. And um, a lot of women said unconditional love, which I think is also key. You know, we love our children. Most mothers know this, um, and and parents of dogs know this. Unconditional love means you love that person no matter what. So if the dog poops on the living room floor, you still love the dog. Right. If your son breaks something, even though it might have been something your grandmother gave you for your wedding, you still love your children. So when you love your, your mate like that, um, you know, it, it's it's nice to stay that way, to just love them and not, not start spewing the I hate you. I always said never mention the D word because I remember when my husband and I were um, going through like a little – craziness in our life, um, mostly caused by outside influences. Thank God we don't let that happen anymore, um, happen anymore. But um, I said to him, I don't, I don't want to start spewing the divorce word. You know, my parents were um, married to each other, divorced from each other, married to each other, divorced from each other, and married to each Are other. Are you kidding? Yes. And I just want to point out, I don't twitch. I, I never knew that. Okay. That's, that's uh, unbelievable. Yes, it's a little crazy. So, um, at the end... Repeat that one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Married, divorced, married, divorced, married. So to, say, to each other, your to parents. each other, to each other. So yeah, it's wow. crazy. Yeah, um, and they're very proud of that. And you want to know the truth? I mean, they, they did it their way. And they're how very, long were they divorced each time? I, I try to block it out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. Were you young? I, I the first time I was about thirteen. Oh, you were. So young. it was it was you know it was tumultuous. But they had a beautiful love affair, and it, it ends up working out. It's like uh, what's the name? Liz Taylor and Richard Burton, right? It ended up working out. Right. But I never wanted to start spewing that D word with my husband. So um, that's my secret to success. Yes. What I will tell you here, which was very surprising, this is what shocked me. Nowhere did anyone say, except for the feed him and F him thing, nobody talked about sex. Nobody said... I have to make sure that my husband's because I am I um, my husband's needs have to be met. Ain't Toppy happy? Ain't nobody happy? So nobody talked about that. Nobody well, said. Well, that's quite interesting because we got a lot of comments. So a it lot. Is quite surprising that nobody mentioned that. So it's apparently not at the top of the list. It's, and what I did and, was I went up with a lot more to a relationship. Well, I I, I that's exactly what I thought. I said, well, really, you could have that without having a relationship. And yeah. marriage is. I, a long-term relationship. So, but, I think I, you'll have to ask the question, was sex a factor before you got married or dated? You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, the secret to a good marriage is, is meeting each other's needs. But I have to tell you, the fact that nobody brought that up in any of the stuff, nobody said, well, you know, we keep sex, we keep... I mean, maybe date night was code word for sex? I don't know. I don't know. I think the anthropologists and the sociologists might be really interested in our, our little research I, I will here. say this. I think sex plays a huge part in um, a lot of people's marriage. Marriages. Um, I know, you know, my husband has to be happy or I ain't, I ain't going to be happy. And my shoe budget's going to go down a lot if he's uh -oh. not happy. So. That's bad. So That's what do you bad. got there? You see anything well, there? Well, um, I think we're getting a little close to a date, uh, uh, to a break. Should we uh, do that and then come back and talk about some worst date stories? That sounds good to me. We'll be okay. right back. See Last again. break. My God, the hour just flies. Flying lately. Just flying. Fly. Have you heard? Laura's neighbors save thousands of dollars on their property taxes by using Zap My Tax. But her husband filed with the other property tax grievance company. He'll never make that mistake again. Laura went to ZapMyTax.com and got the savings she deserved. Zap My Tax, saving Long Islanders money on property taxes for over 25 years. Look for us in your mailbox or call 631-889-5500. Or you can sign online at ZapMyTax.com. I wanted her to come tonight. Hello, All right, we're welcome back. back, guys. Listen, just keep the number for future use, 516-945-9099, okay? Um, we are back, and we're talking about worst dates. So Christine has a doozy there. It looks kind of oh, long. Gosh, I don't know if yeah. you want to read the whole thing or just give us a synopsis okay, of well, it. Okay, well, uh, we put the question on social media, not only about a happy marriage um, and what attracts you to people, but... Tell us about your worst date ever. And uh, again, as Lori just gave the number, 516-945-9099. Call in with a story if you can. We've got um, a lot of responses. We've got a I ton mean, of tons. responses, and they are absolutely hilarious. Um, 
But the, the medal, the prize has to go to Deborah uh, Fauci Dardis, who uh, I happen to know. <laughs> and she posted about 10 stories. This is one of my favorites. Is she married now? That's what she I'm... is married. It's a second marriage. She just dated her. a lot. Oh, God, my screen just went blank. How All right, well, that's that? why I got my paper okay, notes, because well, technology is brutal. I think I brutal. can bring it right up. Here we go. Um, so she says she leaves her office one day to run an errand at a store down the block, grabbing a hot dog as she's going because she needs to get back to her desk. One of the bosses comes up to her and says that there is a man in reception who has just described her and would like to speak with Stop her. Stop it. So she goes forward, thought maybe she'd lost her wallet or something. So she goes down, she greets him. He says he's terribly sorry, but he saw me in the store and followed me to my office. Oh, that is creep Ola. Yeah, that would have been my first clue, I think. That um, is creep Ola. But he wanted to ask her out to lunch. But it also could be romantic, so, so if well, you're thinking exactly. about doing it... <laughs> so he asks her out to lunch, and she's flattered, and she agrees. And then guys wonder why it's, okay. women are so screwed up with the mixed messages. Don't yeah, stalk right. me, but stalk me. Yeah, right? <laughs> so anyway, so now our whole office is invested in this date, okay? And they meet at a lovely restaurant, a beautiful courtyard. They're sitting outside. He starts talking, and she's looking at the menu, and he says, there's something I need to get straight right now. She takes breath, puts the menu down, and he says to her, I'm a staunch Democrat, and I'm working on the Carter campaign. I take a breath, put my menu down, and say, well, there's no point in ordering because I'm a 100% Reagan supporter, and I'm not over Carter giving away the Panama Canal yet. Later! And that thats that was the day? That was her day. Oh my God! You know, what a bus! Okay, and could we you, don't do politics here on the living room, but I thought you, that story was that is hilarious. hysterical. That is hilarious. hysterical. No, it doesn't beat Debbie's uh, Debbie's story about the guy pooping in his pants on the date. Oh, we don't have the whole. Have that one. Debbie couldn't make it down here. She's gonna come down and tell it in person on another oh, show. God, the guy I actually totally pooped forgot. in his pants. Yeah, that but, would be. Bad. No, we got a bunch of guys forgetting their wallets. <laughs> um, we got we got um, guys taking girls to bad restaurants, being cheap, bad kissing. I had a guy once years ago. What a wacko. We went out on a date in the city, walked me around, we looked at every menu in every window of every uh, restaurant, and we never went in anywhere. I was like, this is the date? We're just gonna just look at- walking around window shopping? What I learned was, he was a cheapo. That's what I learned, he was cheap. <laughs> and he didn't really wanna eat anywhere, he just wanted to, I guess, walk around and see if I was worth taking out on another date. Oh, that By the funny. way, he did take me out on another date, and I dumped him. I just wanna put that out there. I dumped him good okay so good to you. just in case he's listening do we have time for another one? we have lots of times okay. so we have um, oh wait we have guys coming down we don't really have a lot of girls stuff but oh one girl went out on a date with a guy and she ordered two steaks and the guy was like you must be really hungry and she was like no i wanted to take one home for my dog <gasps> who does that oh wait i oh, think god. i know a few people <laughs> oh, god. are you kidding me how? I can't even who thinks of these things. I, could you imagine ordering another steak for your dog? I could see taking the leftover meat home I, to my dog, but I couldn't ordering a meal for my dog. I hope she paid for Let it. Let me order a meal for my, my mother while I'm at it. Um, we had um, a girl went out on a date, and a guy pulled out a picture of his dead wife and started showing her the wife. Could you imagine? That's somebody we, who's just lonely. Oh, my God. And then we had, um, th there were two, one of them was a guy literally went out in the middle of the date and 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 did and did drugs like like heroin yeah like a, a drug drop a, off was no that was the drug drop off. i yeah. mean you guys gotta follow mass pico mama's group because this was like unbelievable but the guy got up in the middle of the date and went out and got high and came back and nodded out at the date that's pretty crazy that um then we had another guy revealing um talking about his arrest so this, is, so this is what I wanted to ask back, you guys. But would you want him not to be honest? No, but this is what I want to ask you. Um, this was really, this is this was a funny one. Maria from Massapequa, she said she went on a blind date at a restaurant bar for a drink. She ordered a glass of wine and a Diet Coke, uh, and uh, a glass of wine, and he ordered a Diet Coke. She said to him, do you not drink alcohol? She didn't really care if he drank or not. She just wanted to know. And he said, no, um, I, you know, no, I, I uh, she's, he said, why did you ask? She said, I was just curious. And he said, no, I had a psycho, uh, alcoholic ex-wife who got crazy when she when she drank so within minutes she told him she wasn't feeling well she ex excused herself to the ladies and she never went back 
he texted her after 10 minutes asking if she was okay. She said, I had to leave. You, you said psycho, alcoholic, crazy, and ex-wife all in the same sentence. <laughs> she said, and that wasn't something I signed up for. That's she walked great. out and that was hysterical. That's great. I mean, there's stuff here about people with Wait, filthy nails. Oh, my God. And... But this is even funny, too. She, there was this girl, Lee, uh, in Mass Speaker Mom's group. She said the guy lied about his height and then proceeded to tell her about his Disney figurine collection. Oh. I'm not against oh, Disney wow. figurines, but I mean, yeah, hello. That's, that's um, unusual. That, you know, I only printed out the good ones. What, what was this well, one? Well, here, I have uh, Kathy from Sacramento in California actually says she met a woman at a bar, and they went to dinner, and the first thing the woman told her about was that she had recently taken a bicycle. And Kathy said, you, you were, you ta you've taken a bicycle? And the woman went, I stole it. <laughs> like on the way to the date? Then I this, don't know, but really? And then Lisa said, um, Lisa from Mass Beagle Moms Group, she said a guy showed up drunk on the date. He just showed up, bomb. Sure. She had to drive him home. She never met the guy. Wow. These are like one-time dates that these guys are doing this. So I think it's kind of funny. I don't. I wish I had more stories about uh, what girls do, but the guys don't post. What can I tell you? Get on oh, social media and Here's post. a good one. Ron from Sayville dated a beautiful girl, and then he saw his pissing standing up. What? Oh, my God. Huh? He was with the tranny. Huh? I all right, well, it is what it is. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but you have to disclose. Uh -huh. So let me ask you a question. Having said that, you have to disclose. What do you have to do? Like, do you have to disclose, like, right away that you're an ex, you know, addict or an alcoholic? Do you have to disclose that you've been arrested? Well, I think ex is a different story than if you're, you know, doing drug deals on the way to the date or asking your date to wait in the car. I think, you know, if you overcome... Um, do you alcoholism say that, do or, you, or, or uh, drug issues, you know, I think that's something you share with someone when you know them better and you want them to know everything about you. So, so if so you're in you, jail and you're out on a weekend furlough, you have to disclose uh, it? Well, weekend so, furlough, mm, not so much. So let me ask you a question. First date, you're on a first date, you've been divorced. Do you have to disclose I'm divorced? You have to. Um, Should you? Part of who, who you are. So you How many should. dates is serious? Three? since I'm 16. I'm really bad. We really need show. somebody else out okay. here. Uh, Hold know, on, I maybe I can get a voice from behind. How many dates makes it serious? Bobby! Four. Four? Four. So if you take a girl out four times, you consider it semi-serious or serious? Semi. Semi-serious. Semi. Okay. okay. Would you, so by the fourth date, basically you would have to know if she was divorced, if she divorced was... Divorce doesn't matter. What about ex-addict? Matters. <clears throat> Yeah, that's a, you go through matters, doesn't matter. Ma so, ex-alcoholic ex matters? Matters. Okay. Um, what if they've been arrested for something in the past three years? Past three years matters. Okay. Well, it depends what. What if they have herpes? Matters. <laughs> uh, you think? Do, would, you date, would you date someone with herpes? Don't know enough about it. Currently in a flare? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Currently having a flare-up. <laughs> Um, I have to tell you, I wouldn't want to be out there in this day and age. It I certainly wouldn't. Based on some of these I stories. Yeah. And, and you know what? I give people credit who, who do put themselves out there. Uh, you know, I have a friend, 28 years, her marriage ended. And, I mean, she I said a there. little while ago that um, I think I'd probably be done. Um, that's this a whole, girl didn't that's, do that. That's a whole other story, though. How do you get divorced after 28 years? Like, I could see getting divorced after 10, 15, and then and then going out there, but like I'm 52 years old, I'm going out there now. Oh my God, that would be for me well, brutal. That's exactly, and that that's my point. But this girl did put herself out there, and she's met a wonderful man, and she's happier than she's ever been. So, so I, it's I okay. give people a lot of. Is that the one that just got married? No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. She just got married. She's not young either, right? No, she's my age. She's yeah, my well, age. Then there is hope, I guess. Actually, and um, always wanted. To be married and have You know what it is? Marriage. When you're married for so long, I think you forget how to date. It's like going to school. Like I wouldn't yeah, know how to study right now. I can't even. I, I don't even know. I wouldn't know how to do it. Does. But if I was if I was doing it for the last fifteen years, then I'd still know how to do it. It'd just sure. change a little bit. Well, sure. if you're dating for fifteen years, then there's something wrong. Why? There's a lot of people out there dating oh, oh, for fifteen wait. years. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. My my friend my friend from beyond over there has been uh, shouting out. He's had a couple of. Uh, a couple of dates. Bobby, Do you think you'll ever get married again? Bobby, before no, you see. No. I don't think I'll, I don't think there's any reason to get married again today. Okay. Well, that's another question, too. You have a minute to come on the couch and tell us what you look for in a woman? Sure. 
All right, Bobby's going to come out and tell us what he, what he looks for in a woman. Bobby's our producer here at Paradise Studios, 20 Broadway, Massapequa. He's Bobby with Sarah. He would love to find a great girl. He's currently single, and he's a oh, cutie, and he's a, really ni and he's a really nice guy. Oh, oh first, first he has to go check the camera. I would have jumped out, out of the picture, Bob. Yeah. Kidding me? I want to be on radio. I have a face for radio. That's all I can tell you. Stop it. I hate, I hate cameras. Girl. But at the end of the day, it's not easy out there. It's, it's uh, yeah, it's a rat race, right? All right, Bobby's gonna come out and tell us what he's looking for in a girl. Yeah, yeah I'll jump. No, 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 I'll, I'll okay. move. I'll move. I don't want to expose any uh, potential uh, whatever. Okay, so tell us. So tell us what um, what do you look for in a girl? First of all, how old are you? I'm 50 years old. Okay, I'm and 50. how many years have you been single? Um, almost two years. Okay, well, you, you were married? married? No, I was actually engaged. You now were engaged. We're so wait a second. You've never so been married. This, yeah, it's a whole other. Oh, thing. that's a whole other head case. Hold we on. We might not have enough time. Hold we're on a second. Part two to this. Now, you've never been married and you're fifty. I've never been married. I have no children. And All right, that's I, a complete red flag right there. I was engaged. I was finally found. Hold on a second. Let me look for the hump. And what happened? Um, well, I don't want to get into details, but uh, it just it just kind of fell apart. Okay. Not, not by any of my doing. Um, it never is. <laughs> it was, uh, it's never the person. It it's it's never the person we're talking just, to. It was, yeah, I don't. I don't want to get into details. All right. So, what are you looking for in a woman? You're 50 years old. You're single. What? First of all, he runs this fabulous studio. He's a workaholic, so that's part of the problem, right? You don't meet anybody because you're a workaholic. I work hard. You work hard. Yeah. All right. Is workaholic a bad thing? Should I not say that? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a workaholic. I mean, I work at night. Okay. So I'm kind of like unavailable okay. Sunday through Thursday nights. Okay. So, Dedicated but, uh, to his profession. Okay. I'm, I'm All right. Which is what we said. I'm good to go. Too, During so. the daytime. Listen, I'm, I'm a worker. Good, you know? So what do you look for in a woman? Your top five things that you look for in a woman. First of all, does she have to be younger than you? Or could she be like, are you looking for a 30-year-old or no? No, that would be too young. All right. What, what's say, your cutoff date? I would say 35 to 50 would be kind of... 35? 30 is too young, but 35. Well... I love it. I love it. 35 She's to 50. She's a tough... <laughs> she is. Um, I just, you know, I just... Easy on Bobby. I just Good want, uh, you know, a night... I uh, like an easygoing girl. You know what I'm saying? Natural I, I just, beauty. A natural girl. Um, she can't curse, so I'm out. Yeah, cursing is, you know, I don't mind here and there. And F-bomb here and there. You're very, you're, you're very uh, spiritual, Bobby. I, I, I assume am, that I'm, that's very important I'm to very you. I'm very faith-driven. That doesn't necessarily mean that my girl has to be the same way, but I just would like the respect of, of her respecting mm -hmm. my faith and, and mm -hmm. my Now, 35, she, she might want kids. Is that that's, something? Th I'm okay with that. You're willing wow. to do that. So you're like you have to roll over again. I'm ready for anything. Wow! All right, so this is and the thing. So, ladies. so Bobby was uh, yeah, See, I, I, could be, I could be good with a girl, a, a woman my age that doesn't want to have kids. That's done. Obviously, she's not going to want to have kids at her age. But at the same token, I'd be willing to have kids if I was with somebody younger. So I'm kind of like wow. So, so just throw, let's throw it out here, and then we'll put you, we'll put you on the uh, living room page. Um, what's your typical date? Like your first date? What do you do? First date, I would say. I would want to be able to talk to her, you know, okay. so with a nice casual dinner, you know, where you can kind of just take your time and, and get to know each other, you know. Um, nothing crazy. I mean, How many dates before sex? Um, you know what? Two years ago, I would say, you know, <laughs> a couple months. Yeah, but now it's like six days in. Six dates in, I got to have no, it. But now, you got you to gotta rule it out real quick. Now I'm, I'm the opposite. Because uh, it's really, I've learned a lot in my life, and it's really, sex can really throw things off completely. Because if you don't, if you really aren't friends with that person first, and you start having sex, what happens is you start to, um, you start to ha get feelings for the sex and not that person. Uh, very so, smart. So, yeah. So very smart. I wouldn't. I would be the opposite at this point in my life, especially since I'm. Very into my faith now, so I. So what would you say, like a year? I would be willing, to, honestly. I would be willing to wait as long Stop as it. possible. Stop as it. Long, hey, as long ladies. as I am truly, as long as I am falling in love with that woman. Wow. I am, okay I am shocked. Ladies, waiting. this is one really nice guy. Bobby wow. Sarah, five one six nine four five but nine zero nine like, nine. I, honestly, two years ago, I would. That's that's not me. But I kind of went through since I my engagement broke off. I kind of 
Exactly. Because you must have had hot and heavy sex right up front you, with that girl, and you fell in love with the sex, and and then well, the relationship no. wasn't there because you were just so focused on the sex. Don't, you don't have to tell I me. Feel, uh, no, I you really, have to be a genius to I figure really this did, out. I really did love her. You but, want the yeah. real deal. Yeah, you no, no. Want gonna, the listen, real yeah, but doesn't everybody deal. want the real, real I deal? I want to do this once, and that's sure. it. I want to find the, the, the woman that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. I want to be able to, you know, I want true love. To me, the, def the definition of of love is willing the good of another before your own. That's Beautiful. true. That's like with and children. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. exactly what you say That's with children. Like exactly. the extreme example is a mother who's scrounging up things to eat for her, for her children, and she feeds the children, and the children say, Mommy, what about you? Don't worry about honey. Mommy already ate. That's, That's right. love. Yeah. So when you find somebody that you truly love, you're constantly trying to make them happy. You're trying to build them up. You're trying to... Always. You know, so, Absolutely. And then what, what the thing is, is when you both love each other, you're both doing it for each other, so it's not one way. That's right. So when two people really love each other, they're constantly trying to... Are you listening, Tommy? So, um, yeah, that's that's my thing. I, I'm, I don't want to play games. I've played games my whole life. You know? yeah, it gets boring, I, I matured right? at a later age to begin with. I wasn't really, you know... I just kind of feel like a lot of people don't listen to what the other person is saying. They're so busy projecting what they think they want from that person mm -hmm. that they don't actually listen to what that person is saying. Sure. And I think that would solve a lot of problems if people would just take their own feelings out of it and really focus and pay attention to what the person said. Because yeah, if I tell you I'm going to wear black till I die, I'm going to wear black till I die. And you're going to buy me something and you're going to think I'm going to wear it, but I'm not going to wear it. Mm -hmm. And that's the bottom line. And I think people just don't get it. They think they could change people. No. And that's the problem. You definitely don't want to change people. You no, you, you can't, can't change people. Yeah. And that's the thing. And that's what people think. Well, if they're with me, they'll do this. But it's just not no, going to happen. you got to fall. you got to love them. That person for who they, who they are. are. Well, we're people, and that's all people want, I think, is to be accepted for who they are. Yeah, and then even, and I'm telling you right now, even in a friendship, you exactly. could have a friend that she may be saying one thing, but they say, don't listen to what people say. Listen, watch what they do, and that's how you know who people really are. Even with friendships, even with females, like female to female, you know, you can get mind screwed by your own friend. She could be telling you one thing and and slapping it in the face on, on the other side. So you have to really pay attention to what they're doing. Absolutely. You know, stop trying to think. Well, it's so. Uh, it's fuzzy, you know, the Pollyanna. I'm a Pollyanna. Yeah. So um, we're going to put your bio on our page, and we're going to go out there. We're going to get you a date. Okay. So He's dial a date. We'll be cute. back. Look at Bobby. Look Thanks at how cute he is. <laughs> nice Italian boy. What happened we'll get, to this guy? I thought we'll get, this was we'll get PC on the couch uh, next week. He had, he just went through a breakup. We'll talk all about that. Okay. Oh, he no. needs some time. Yeah, that. we yeah yeah. Well, we'll get we'll get back to that. But we're gonna take uh, actually we're not gonna take a break. But Bobby's gonna yeah, put I'm a gonna picture up all because right. I just want to say um, I want to just uh, introduce um, one little Lori's likes item. I'll be oh, right yeah. back. Okay. Switch spots and I'm just gonna move. Does my uh, does my butt look fat in this in this camera? Camera like puts on show. ten pounds. Uh, the DJ guys. Oh, um, you know what? Yeah, I because I... What, yeah. what is his name? I think I can yeah, DJ we guys. Over. Just, yeah, we okay, so listen, guys. Um, I just want to point out that um, I heard about this cream, L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Cell. Um, the cream and the mask. Is it working? The, the, it's working. The cream oh, yeah. has like a, a rosy tint in it. It was, um, it was promoted for women over 50 because we tend to lose that rosy look from our skin. Um, you can't really see it tonight on camera because I had to cake other stuff on it so I don't look like I'm dying. But it's cheap enough for you to try. I really suggest you try it. If you're over 50 and you feel that your skin is getting kind of sallow looking, definitely it's worth a try. Let's see that picture. I will. And I also bought the mask. I used the mask once. I do feel that it does give you a little perk. Okay? Fantastic. I've had some other stuff done. I've had some peels done uh, from uh, Gem. Uh, it's Youthful Day Spa in Cambria Heights. Um, I had a series of peels done. I also posted her stuff, but I highly suggest you try that cream. It's I worth it. Do that. Guys. What's on next week? Any idea? We are, oh, next week. What were we going to talk about next week? I have it. Oh, my God. I'm so unorganized. Um, next week, we are going to do Beauty Secrets Revealed. Love See it. you next week. Bye. Thank you.